Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will take you through friction in mechanics of machines 1. Kindly note that this is a continuation. Let's begin with this question. The cutter of a broaching machine is pulled by square threaded screw of 55 mm external diameter and 10 mm pitch. The operating nut takes the axial load of 400 newtons on a flat surface of 60 mm internal diameter and 90 mm external diameter. If the coefficient of friction is 0.15 for all contact surfaces on the nut, determine the power required to rotate the operating nut when the cutting speed is 6 meters per minute. Solution Given D0 equals 55 millimeters. P equals 0 0.01 meters. W equals 400 newtons. D2 equals 60 millimeters or R2 equals 30 millimeters. D1 equals 90 millimeters or R1 equals 45 millimeters. Mu equals 0 0.15. Finding the mean diameter of the screw. D equals 50 millimeters. Finding tan alpha which equals 0 0.0637. Finding the force required at the circumference of the screw. P equals 86.4 newtons. Finding the mean radius of the flat surface. R equals 37.5 millimeters. Finding the torque required. T equals 4.41 newton meter. Finding the speed of the screw. N equals 600 RPM. Finding the angular speed. Omega equals 62.84 radians per second. Finding the power of the motor. Power equals 277 watts. Here is a second question. The mean diameter of a square threaded screw jack is 50 millimeters. The pitch of the thread is 10 millimeters. The coefficient of friction is 0.15. What force must be applied at the end of a 0.7 meter long lever, which is perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the screw to raise a load of 20 kN and to lower it? Solution Given D equals 0.05 meters P equals 0.01 meters Mu equals 0.15 W equals 20 times 10 to power 3 newtons Finding tan alpha which equals 0 0.0637. Let P1 equals force at the end of the lever. Force required to raise the load. Finding the force required at the circumference of the screw. P equals 4314 newtons. Finding the force required at the end of the lever. P1 equals 154 newtons. Force required to lower the load. Finding the force required at the circumference of the screw. P equals 1710 newtons. Finding the force required at the end of the lever. P1 equals 61 newtons. Here is a third question. The pitch of 50 millimeters mean diameter threaded screw of a screw jack is 12.5 millimeters. The coefficient of friction between the screw and the nut is 0 0.13. Determine the torque required on the screw to raise a load of 25 kN, assuming the load to rotate with the screw. Determine the ratio of the torque required to raise the load to the torque required to lower the load and also the efficiency of the machine. Solution Given D equals 50 mm P equals 12.5 mm Mu equals 0.13 W equals 25 times 10 to power 3 newtons. Finding tan alpha. Which equals 0 0.08. Finding the force required to raise the load. P equals 5305 newtons. Finding the torque required on the screw to raise the load. T1 equals 132,625 newton millimeter. Finding the force required to lower the load. P equals 1,237 newtons. Finding the torque required on the screw to lower the load. 
T2 equals 30,925 newton millimeter. Finding the ratio of the torques required. R equals 4.3. Finding the efficiency of the machine. Which equals 37.7%. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I am Engineer Mayday, when you need help Mayday is the call. You have been an interactive learner. Thank you.